In committee stage, I'm pleased to take a call on the title of the bill, um, and I would name this bill the Warner Brothers Film Industry Requirement Bill, and I'd strip out altogether any wording about employment relations or film production, because this bill isn't about. Um, it's totally unnecessary. It's not ever what was required by Actors' Equity. Never ever was an issue uh, that they said required sorting out at all. And in this room, there's about four people that understand the film industry. I'd give it to the Honourable Jerry Brownley that he has um, got to grips with the film industry. Trevor Mallard, Honourable Trevor, and um, Grant Robertson. And in my role as a spokesperson, I've learned a lot about the industry too. And what have I learned about the industry? That both actors and actually technicians in the film production industry have a very lumpy income, an incredibly lumpy income, and it needs smoothing so that they get a decent income over the year because they lurch from production to production. The, f the film, the actors themselves, when this initial dispute arose, uh, that has led us to urgency tonight to be debating this totally superfluous and unnecessary bill, said that they were quite happy about their status as independent contractors. They wanted simply to negotiate collectively on their employment conditions on their employment conditions, and the minister opposite knows that, because when also Sparta started ringing to say, we need to get together, we need to get together, we need to listen to one another, the Minister for Arts, Culture and Heritage ignored an offer to get the parties together that I made to him two months before, totally ignored it. Needed to happen was for Jerry Brownie to get them in a room together, and he did. And he did. And actually, both parties came out of that meeting and said, We've had a really good meeting, we've clarified a lot, we've really moved on here, and we have reached agreement. And actually, they, yes, they definitely did step up. And so we were then put into the situation of believing that we were there, that we'd reached agreement, that Jerry Brownie had facilitated the reaching of that agreement, and both parties were feeling a lot better. And then something went terribly wrong. And it was Warner Brothers, in charge Warner Brothers. And the Minister knows that. He knows that. Warner Brothers received an email saying that this dispute is resolved. And, and, and the Minister knows that too. But Warner Brothers wanted... Uh, no, Warner Brothers were actually just looking for leverage um, on, on getting the greatest deal. They're businessmen. They're hard-nosed businessmen. They wanted the best deal. They got good deals offered in the UK and they got good deals offered in Czechoslovakia. And so the ministers were put into a position of having to negotiate, and I don't envy them on that at all. And we are delighted in Labor that we have secured the Hobbit in New Zealand, but we've secured it at a price. And I think the worst price, I think the worst price actually is the stripping of workers' rights away by this unnecessary law that we're debating in urgency tonight. That's the disgraceful price uh, for getting this film secured in New Zealand. It's not what actors asked for at all, um, and so it is definitely the Warner Brothers Film Industry Requirement Bill. And in this title that's before us here, they talk about relationships. And we've been panned in Labour by National for spending 160000 on developing an enduring relationship with the film industry in Los Angeles. Yes, it is an enduring, and it certainly is with producers. Certainly is with producers. And here we are in a position now of $33 million of funding and total funding through the Large Screen Production Fund that is appropriated is only $51 million. $33 million of that 
has gone to one production to keep it in the country. It's simply a challenge that for us. Um, I